the classified balance sheet, you'll remember that there are four types of assets, two types of liabilities, and two types of stockholders' equity. And we're going to do exercise five, which says, name that account, or can you classify it? So remember that when we're looking at the assets, it can be a current asset, an investment, property, plant, and equipment, or plant assets, or intangible. So those are our four choices for assets. When we look at liabilities, they can be short-term or current liabilities or long-term liabilities. And when we look at stockholders' equity, they can be contributed capital, external ownership, or what? Internal ownership through retained earnings. So let's take a look, and there's some of these here that don't even belong on the balance sheet, and then we can write not applicable. So patents. Patent is an intangible. So that's an intangible asset, and it would show up in that part of the classified balance sheet. Building held for sale is an investment. And it is an investment because notice that we're not using the building. We've invested in the building, hoping that the building will go up in value and then we can sell it. Prepaid rent is a current asset account because usually you consume or use your rent soon after you're paying for it. So that prepaid rent would be consumed soon. Wages payable is a current liability account and it's a current liability account because your employees don't wait very long to get paid, do they? Note, and this should say payable, due in five years, is a long-term liability because notice I don't have to fulfill that promise for another five years. Building used in op uh, operations is a plant asset or a property plant and equipment because notice this building is currently being used to what? Generate revenues um, and incur expenses, whereas this building was held for investment. So that's why this is a plant asset, and that's an investment. What about fund held to pay off long-term debt? Well, what this is, is like your Christmas club. You put away money for, because sooner or later Christmas is going to come and you're going to need to buy Christmas presents. So here's a business who are holding funds so that sooner or later they can pay off their long-term debt. So what is that? Well, it's an asset because it has future potential value and it's called an investment because notice I'm investing these funds so later on I can use them for something. What about inventory? Well, inventory is a current asset because that's the uh, stuff that you put price tags on and say, folks, come in and pay more than I did. So inventory is what are on your store shelves. Uh, pre and you hope to sell it soon, so that's why it's current. Prepaid insurance is also a current asset because you've paid for it and you will consume your insurance in, uh, in the current operating cycle, so current asset. Depreciation expense does not belong on that balance sheet, does it? It belongs on the income statement. What about accounts receivable? Accounts receivable is a current asset, isn't it? Because you hope your customers are going to pay you soon. What about interest expense? Well, interest expense, again, is on that uh, income statement. It's not on the balance sheet. A couple more. What about unearned revenue? Well, unearned revenue is a current liability account because remember that's where customers have paid you in advance but you haven't yet rendered the services. Do you think your customers are going to pay you in advance if uh, you promise to uh, do the service a long time from now? No, they'd rather keep their money. So customers pay you unearned revenue if you will fulfill those promises in the short term, in the short run. So current liability, unearned revenue. Uh, short term investment, ooh, this one's tricky. This one is a current asset. And the reason it's a current asset and not an investment is because it's short term. This means this is like money management. You have cash, you can park it in your bank account or you could go out and invest it in money market funds. 
but the reason you're investing it is because you have idle cash and it's just to park that idle cash. So that's a current asset, not an investment. Accumulated depreciation is a plant asset. It's a plant asset because it's that contra at shadow account. Uh, to any building or equipment immediately behind it, there's accumulated depreciation building, accumulated depreciation equipment. So plant asset or property plant equipment. And finally, retained earnings. This one's easy. It's retained earnings. It's part of stockholders' equity, internal ownership.